welcome back to Disrupt It Yourself. Of course, I'm Andrew, and today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my Prusat i3 Mark IIs build. Now, two things to get out of the way quickly, and these are important. First of all, I've been saying Prusa for several years, and when I first heard people say Prusa, it was like nails on a chalkboard, until I looked into it and realized that's probably the way you're supposed to say it. Regardless, old habits die hard, so I'm more than likely going to be calling it Prusa until I can break that habit. So I hope that doesn't drive anyone too crazy. The second thing to knock out of the way is, yes, I do know there's a new uh, model of the Prusa i3. The new model of the official, original, legit Prusa i3, the Mark II, or sorry, the Mark III, has been released. I know that because I was at Maker Faire when it was announced. I saw it in person, and yeah, it's a good machine. It's an awesome machine, and yes, I do want one. But that's not what this video is about. This video is really about value. And I just want to tell you guys, um, I kind of have a funny way of looking at this, and I'll illustrate it with a quick anecdote. When the uh, Ultimaker 3 came out, the very first thing that I did was I quickly sent a message to a friend and asked him, and he's a reseller, how much is the Ultimaker 2 going to cost now? At the moment, I didn't know why I did this. The first thing I think about is what a good deal I might be able to get on the previous model as a new one is coming out. I don't know if anyone else thinks like that, but it's actually a great way to do things. I would, like I said, love to get a Mark III at some point, but I'm currently very pleased with the uh, Mark IIs. The build was fantastic, the instructions are incredible, and the prints are great. This 3D printer is not any less awesome just because there's a new 3D printer out there. I know we're consumers in this kind of consumerist world that we live in, we especially look at smartphones, we all feel like, oh no, I have the old iPhone, or for example, I use, I have a, a Pixel, oh no, there's a new Pixel coming out, and now mine feels outdated. I've tried really hard to break that from my mind, and just realize what value am I getting from a product, and just because there's something newer with a few more features doesn't mean that my value has to diminish. I don't really want to think that way about things that I invest my money in. So if you can break that mentally, then you will find that buying something like the Prusa Mark IIs, you can get an incredible value out of a machine that is just as awesome as it was a month ago before you knew about the new Mark III. It is currently selling for $599. That is insane to me. When I got my very first 3D printer, I won't go back and tell you guys which one it is because it's, it's not important, but I paid that much for my first 3D printer and I've got to say this is quite a bit better and the experience of putting this one together and using it is quite a bit better than the experience I had four or five years ago. The experience of putting it together was so smooth because their instructions are so well written. And now, I'm a bit of a technical writer, I do that a little bit in my job. I also took a class in college about technical writing, so it's something that I get a little nitpicky about. When I worked at a manufacturer called RigidBot, that was one thing that I took aim on and overhauled before I left that company, was trying to update the instructions. So it's something I care a lot about, uh, because especially when we're talking about a kit, and kits aren't for everyone, but when you're talking about a kit, anyone who likes to put things together knows that the instructions have to be super good. Because at the end of the day, that's the difference between your product looking good to the end user and it looking bad. And guess what? They're not going to blame themselves for assembling it wrong. They're going to blame you. So, fortunately, they've done a great job here. And the instructions are great. There's a few videos on important parts that allow you to go from a pile of parts to an assembled printer, in my experience, somewhere between six to eight hours. I could have got it done definitely in six but I also let my three-year-old get involved a little bit, as you'll see in the time lapse. Now, there is something interesting about kits, and this is just for people who might be on the fence. I do recommend certain assembled 3D printers uh, for certain people, especially for educators who maybe don't want to go the route of a kit and more of a DIY-focused machine. Some teachers might want to. That might be for the right age group, for the right focus. It might be an experience to put it together as a class. The thing about putting a kit together, and there have actually been studies about this um, on the subject of IKEA furniture. Now, if you've ever bought furniture from IKEA, you know you have to put it together. Their instructions are very simple, but they're good. You usually get the job done, right? 
At least I've never had to call IKEA. Maybe that's just been my experience. But when you finish a piece of IKEA furniture, and this goes for really just about anything that you assemble yourself, they've done studies that prove your level of satisfaction and personal investment in the product is quite a bit higher. So the caveat still is the instructions have to be good, and Prue says instructions are fantastic. So once you put your machine together, if you do a good job and focus on putting it together correctly, you're going to care more about your 3D printer. And the other side effect is you're gonna understand how it works better, and that's a great thing too. So because of that, I very much recommend this 3D printer, especially to someone who's like me and wants to get a great value. I don't care that someone has something better than me, knowing that there's something better out there, doesn't hurt the value that I'm going to get out of this 3D printer. That's my personal opinion. So again, if you're like me, run out, or you can't really run, run to the internet, run to your computer, and order the Mark II S in this case. There's also an upgrade, just so you know, for I believe $200. If you buy right now the Mark II S, later you can get an upgrade kit and get a few of the most important features upgraded to your 2 to make it a 2.5, which is cool. If anyone has any questions, any criticisms, anything, go ahead and leave me a comment. And if you're interested in buying this 3D printer, please do me a favor and let me know. I'm working with the Prusa team and I'm really excited to have the opportunity to do so. So if you have questions or if you're going to buy one, let me know so I can let them know that I did a good job of explaining some things about this 3D printer. It helps me out and it allows me to continue to do this kind of stuff. I appreciate you guys a lot. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't and keep on making awesome stuff.